Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Jay. And in this video, I'm going to give you a detailed explanation about how to set up your OBS to uh, best stream on YouTube and Twitch. It's gonna cover the uh, basic settings, the video settings, the output settings, the bit rates, and what is the best bit rates for you, and so on and so on. So stay tuned, watch the full video, and uh, I hope it helps you. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. I go live every single day. If I post a video on YouTube, I go live on Twitch. But if I don't post a video on YouTube, then I'm definitely live on YouTube. Let's get right into it. So first things first, we are in our OBS right here. The OBS settings and the Streamlabs OBS are basically kind of the same thing. There's not a much difference to the settings tab at least. So either you're using OBS Studio or you are using Streamlabs OBS is basically going to be the same thing. So first things first, as you can see, you're going to open OBS, you're going to go to settings and then straight up, we're going to get into settings. So once we are in the settings tabs, first of all, go to general. Uh, try to copy all these settings there's not a lot of you have to worry about in general except for automatically start replay buffer when streaming this you don't need it checked on uh, you can leave it checked off if you'd like but i have it on because i do uh, try to clip the videos and stuff but that video does not uh, include in this uh, tutorial guide so i might do another video with all these like little tips and tricks to make your stream better but uh, to be honest, like just leave it unchecked for now if you're not going into too much. Everything else, just keep it the same. Nothing special here. Second tab is stream. Here you can click YouTube RTMP or Twitch or if you're streaming on Facebook Live, you can uh, select that. So if you click YouTube RTM, if you're streaming on YouTube, then you are going to need to create an event on YouTube and then you're going to need to copy the stream link and paste it here. I'll quickly show you how to do it. So once you're on your YouTube tab, you're going to click create, go live, schedule a stream. You can create new stream or you can just select one of the old streams and just click reuse settings. You're going to get a tab like that and then you click create stream and on the left side here, you are going to get uh, a stream key which you can just copy and then paste it on OBS and you're good to go. If you are streaming on Twitch, then you just turn it like that, click Twitch and you connect your account and boom, you're, you're straight up ready to go. The output settings, we're going to come here later, but for now, we're just going to go to audio settings. Audio settings, I have everything on default. The mic I have selected as my microphone USB, which is a blue Yeti. And uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing much to play around here. Video settings, the base canvas is the is the resolution of the monitor you have. If you have a 1080p monitor, it's going to be 1920 by 1080 p if you have a 1440p monitor like mine, it's going to be 2560 by uh, 1440. So select the most highest base resolution you have. And then in output, if you're on YouTube and you have really good upload speed, then you can go for a 1440p stream. But if you are on Twitch, I recommend you just sticking on the 1080p stream or even lower if your upload speed is not that high. So output scale, you can just click it down. I can't click it right now. It's all grayed out because I'm already recording in OBS. But if you're not recording in OBS, you won't see this as grayed out. And uh, you can click it and then you can select 1080p or whatever uh, resolution you want to select. Downscale filter. This filter right here, the sharper skinny 36 samples is the best in my opinion. So just go with that. FPS, you want the max FPS. Obviously, you don't want to stream on 30 FPS. Like uh, I feel like obviously if somebody's watching or even on an iPhone, they can tell the difference between a 30 FPS stream or a 10 uh, or 60 FPS stream. So stick with 60 FPS. Hotkeys doesn't matter for now. This I will work on. I'll make another video and uh, try to help you guys with the save replay option. But for now, just forget about it. In advance, process priority, normal. Here you can select 709 color space color range full, uh, NV12, DirectX 11, everything else is basically default. Now we can go to the output settings. First things first, if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, then I highly recommend you to go on the encoder and go NVIDIA NVENC new, or even if you don't have the new option, then just go NVIDIA NVENC, the old one, that's fine too. This will always give you better streaming performance compared to the X264, unless you have like the best CPU or something. But again, that will still put a lot of load on your CPU, which you really don't want. I'm going to give you the settings of a YouTube stream first and then a Twitch stream. So me personally, I stream on 1440p. So I select NVIDIA and Venk new and then rescale option output. I don't check it. Just leave it unchecked. And then rate control, always leave it at CBR. Bitrate, if you are streaming on 1440p, if you're streaming 1440p, 60 FPS, then you want the bitrate to be between 13,000 to 18,000 kilobytes per second. I have an amazing upload speed, so I leave it at 20 kilobytes per second. On YouTube, there's a lot of compression. So even if you're going 20 kilobytes per second, the stream is still not gonna, not gonna look as good as on Twitch. 
in, in Twitch, like it's like straight to the source. So the stream quality is like a lot better than YouTube. Keyframe interval two presets, I go max quality, profile high, look ahead and unchecked, psycho visual uh, tuning checked, GPU zero, max V frames two. If you're not seeing these options, make sure you change your output mode from advanced too simple. Bitrate is really what you have to think about and what you have to edit and play around with. Everything else is basically simple. Now, if you're streaming on Twitch, every setting is going to be the same, but instead of 20,000 kilobytes per second bitrate, the max I would recommend you to go is 6,000 kilobytes per second and just apply and you're good to go. Now I'm going to show you guys the charts and your recommended bitrate and what's the best bitrate for you, etc, etc. So first things first, you need to go to speedtest.net, click go. It's going to take a couple of minutes to just do a speed test to get your uh, download and upload speed. Now, once you have your upload speed, which is mine is 941, MB per second but if you don't have like the fiber optic the best internet or something your might be less you might could be like 20 MB per second and whatnot so what you want to do is you want to cut your upload speed into half let's say your is uh, 10 MB per second you want to cut it down to 5 MB per second and that should be your max bitrate in OBS so over here let's say your upload speed is 10 megabytes per second you cannot or should not go above 5000 kb per second which is 5 megabytes per second now let's say you're streaming on twitch and your upload speed is 20 megabytes per second you i do not recommend you going 10,000 kilobytes per second because twitch does not twitch will just show a black screen to most of the people watching the stream so yeah you got to keep that in mind now i'm going to show you the recommended settings uh twitch and youtube recommends you to go with here's a list on youtube streaming that what your maximum bitrate and everything should be so i'm i'm guessing that most of the people are going to stream on 1080p 60 fps so they recommend 4500 to 9000 kilobytes per second even if your upload speed is faster i recommend you could go you could go faster on youtube because it compresses the videos anyways but uh, I don't know if you'll see a difference or not. For just 10, 1080p 30 FPS streams, it's going to be 3,000 to 6,000. And then 720p is going to be uh, 2,250 to 6,000 kb per second. Anyways, and then 720p 30 FPS and so on. If you do want to stream on 1440p, the recommended is 9,000 to 18,000 kilobytes per second. I go 20,000 just because my internet can handle it and I want it, I want to give like a better resolution than possible. Here's a chart for Twitch bitrate settings or like recommended settings and whatnot. Resolution 1080p 60 FPS, 6,000 maximum. I would not recommend going above that. If it's not even going to show up, a lot of people might not be able to watch your stream just because it's so much KB per second that their internet just can't download it fast enough. So I recommend maximum go 6,000 KB per second. The quality is going to be amazing. Uh, if you want to, if you can't handle that kind of bitrate, then you can go a little bit lower down 4,500 KB per second or even lower for 720p, uh, 60 FPS, same 4,500 and then lower for 3,000 FP, uh, for 3,000 KB per second for 720p, 30 FPS. I would not recommend streaming below than 720 uh, p 30 fps because at that point people are just watching blurry streams and uh, i would recommend at least like looking into a better connection or maybe trying to get an ethernet cable for your internet if you're not getting uh, that much uh, upload speed and that's how you set up your obs like that's quick to go you know you don't have to watch 20 videos like this is what all you need like about the scenes and about a video capture game capture i'm gonna make another video i'm gonna make a series of this video where i post a lot of clips or like a lot of small videos uh telling you about how to like you know add a video capture and all that stuff but this is like the basic on how to stream on twitch or youtube with your recommended and the best bitrate settings for you if this video helps you in any way make sure you like the video comment down below something if you have any questions let me know i will try to answer every single comment Subscribe if you haven't already. I go live every single day. Turn on the notifications. I play games like Warzone, Fortnite, uh, Among Us sometimes, Apex sometimes. And, you know, I'll be playing more and more games every day regardless. That being said, it's your boy Jay. Thank you for watching the video. Peace out.